Hi! Today is May 26th. It's been a while since I filmed. I just finished packing these two orders and look at my hand! I got sunburnt. <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit itchy. I hope my skin won't start flaking soon. I made this piece. Whoa! I made this piece on High Speed Railway on Monday. So what's happening is that... Wait, I think I mentioned this before. It should be the stormy bear season and it should be raining but it's, it's not raining as frequent as it should be. So I drew this one. It's stormy bear drinking water. And go get your water bottle and stay hydrated. <laughs> I also made this piece which is... It's a small storyline. Rocky being a goofball and jumping around in the soil. And Lou is like, oh my gosh, it's another mess to clean up. He brushed off all the dust and dirt on Rocky with a toothbrush because they are tiny. I really enjoy drawing these small frames of story and uh, because I want to be able to... I want to be able to express more of their personality just like what I did last year and I haven't been drawing Lou and Rocky for a while now and I am debating on making a charm from this this piece this is the back and this is the front and the uh, problem is that most of the people think Lou is a penguin when they first saw him because yeah the little nose is like a beak and he also has gray gray fur and little feet so I probably would make a penguin friend for him to different out the different hmm? to different out the two creatures it's a really busy week and I don't have a lot of time to sit down and work so I don't know I don't know what this vlog would look like it's probably <laughs> it's probably all over the place again I'm going to mail out these today Wow, look at that sky. There would be a typhoon. All of the clouds are like meeting up at the typhoon. It's so blue. And look at the moon over there. And look at my plant. I went to Kaohsiung for three days and they are dying. I forgot to ask my family to help me take care of them. Woo! It's so windy before the typhoon. I think I never shared this before, but I got this Aurelia because when I bought her, she was she was this tall, and she had these little round leaves that I find adorable. But I never looked up what kind of plant this was, and I didn't even know what it's called. After looking up, now I know she's an Aurelia, but. I didn't know that her leaves are this large. Like, I bought her because she has this size of a leaf, and now she has the size of a palm. And I'm like, how did you do this? And she's growing so tall. Yay! I think I got myself a big plant.
Good morning. Good morning. I am I'm currently working on two client works and I need to finish them today because I would be like super busy. Oh, it's my work shift tomorrow to Wednesday at a slight bookstore. And I think I can't film, but yeah. Currently working on a poster layout and another logo design for client work. And I feel like client works are a really good chance to try out things you never tried out. Because clients would demand for something that's not in your style range or like um, they're probably from different industries and they would have different needs. It's always really interesting to do client works. It could actually force me to try out new stuff and to step out of my comfort zone and it makes me realize more abilities that I think I don't have. Oh, and this is actually why I chose to be self-employed and freelance because I get to try out different varieties of styles and different kind of designs like uh, business cards or NFTs. It's really different from what I do. And if I work from 9 to 5, the possibilities are I'm probably stuck with one road like uh, marketing or user interface experience, character designing. I want to be more wide range on the things I could do. I could also work on my own stuff and create new art at the same time. Although it's a lot unstable than a 9 to 5 job because um, clients don't just pop up anywhere. But it makes us cherish more about our work because we need to work a lot more harder to be able to keep that client and that if that client is really satisfied, they would share this project to another person they know. And if that person needs, uh, for example, needs something to be designed or needs something that I'm able to do, they would reach out to me. And that's how I keep my client works continuously growing. This brand you are working on is something of yourself. Like, um, I am working for jc studio and i want to make it better because i'm growing from zero and i really like the achievement of growing from really really small into something large a little bit different from what usually people expect us to be when we graduate and i really like the progress Maybe this is heaven, maybe that's just you I don't trust my judgment cause I'm just 22 When my just run in circles, my heart is out in the rain I know that this is sudden, but do you feel the same? Do you feel the same? Today is day three of being a cashier. Oh my gosh, the last two days was so tiring and I don't want to get up. Uh, probably not the best idea. Planning out three days together.
Hi, it's the voice over Jenny. So I promised to have an update about the bookstore a few vlogs ago, and I am here. It's currently June eighteen, which is already one and a half month. Is the bookstore worth it? I think. Yeah, like uh, to be more specific. It's kind of like having a small shop of having an art merch, which is, you know, it's going to be a lot more pricier than selling online. Each order that is sold would have an additional fee, a thirty percent fee, which is pretty high. So, for example, if I sell something for a hundred dollars, I would only get seventy back. There's a lot of my products that already cost a bit high, and after that thirty percent, there's not a lot of profit. So actually, I don't think I could make an income for my studio over there. But it's more like having a real life advertisement. People could shop there and at least see my products over there instead of. My products laying there in the corner of my room. That place had a whole trend. It's quite specific. Like people there, the target audience that goes there are usually tourists and students. And I did realize that they love charms and keychains and a specific style of simple lines and simple emotions. Uh. I don't know if it's because of the trend. People have art that looks really alike. Like probably three to four has the same style, and they all have great sales. I guess it's just like if that street is famous for selling stinky tofu, a lot of people would sell stinky tofu too. So it's kind of like that. I don't think my kind of art. Really suits that kind of situation well because I am trying to find out my art style and I want to try a lot of different things. I only follow trends when I think it's fun and when I think it's really interesting. If that trend could help me improve or something that I want to let people know, but this kind of trend about、um, drawing that specific style that I don't own. And just because I want to make profit from it, I don't. It's not what I want. Last month, I decided to try out another two months. So July and August, I would still be in there. If you guys are traveling to Taiwan, feel free to check these out because another pro about this is that you guys would be able to see my products in person. And to see the quality because I love the quality of the stickers, and it's really hard to show quality online. And no matter how much I say about it, it's just different from really touching the products and really understanding it. Because like markets, I could show them. Look at this one. This is vinyl stickers, and you could touch it. The printing skills is really nice. It's waterproof, and most of the people like to stick this on their water bottle, or laptop, or phone cases, and they would be like, "Oh, I see. Wow, this quality is really nice." So if they are already debating on whether to buy it because of the design, after explaining this, they would be more likely to purchase the product. I think, I think it's fun. Because it's different from what I usually do, and I could spend a lot more time on thinking about, hmm, how do I grow myself? How do I face different kind of situations? And I feel like I would be a lot more stronger as a small business owner each time there is a problem, or each time. I realized that maybe things aren't working out. How do I solve this? Compared to last June, I realized that the workflow was totally different, and the things that I have to deal with is also different. Like 
it's kind of like last year I am preparing to grow. I am a caterpillar. This year I have turned into a butterfly and I get to meet other butterflies. And there is so many things that I have to learn, not just about creating art. For me, the hardest is still how to like how to interact with people. I'm pretty introverted and I think a lot. I am super anxious and I would be like Oh no, did I say something wrong? Did I leave a bad impression? Or what if what if that person misunderstood what I meant? All of these thoughts would be pretty overwhelming after an event. Maybe it's just an INFJ thing. I'm still glad that I have the habit of filming vlogs because like right now when I'm filming this voiceover, I feel like I finally have someone to talk to, even though I'm literally talking to my phone. I'm done with this piece. It's a whale shark. I just wanted to draw something blue, and this came up in my mind. Yay, it's so cute. Look at him. He is so happy. But sometimes there are just situations of I don't know who to talk to and maybe it's not the best to overwhelm someone else with my own thoughts. But I just needed to record down the moment, the emotions that I am feeling. And maybe in the future I would look back and be like Oh, Jenny, you are so naive, and it's nothing to be afraid of, and I just, yeah. <laughs> I am preparing for a video about me going to 15 days markets. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? But I decided to go to the Elite Spectrum Market for 15 days in a month and it's already like 11 days has passed right now I still have 4 days to go and I would be making a video about that I... yeah see you guys in the next video thank you for watching another video and for supporting my little business remember to leave a like if you like this video Bye-bye.